So ABS-CBN had a massive, massive move up the day after not going anywhere, being battered down over the past few weeks and months. What's the chart telling us? If you want to know more about that, then you have to check this video out. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germon. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and smash that bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about investing, about the stock market, about reaching your goals of financial freedom. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit the bell, like, and be part of the 1% of Filipinos investing and trading the markets with confidence. Hey guys, so I just got back in Manila. I came in from General Santos City and while I was monitoring the markets from my flight and upon landing, abs bit stock suddenly had a surge. It suddenly had, uh, it had a move up, which was not seen over the past few months and weeks as well. So a lot of people are speculating that maybe it's because there's a, it's getting a lot of traction, that there's more positive sentiment. You see a lot of people throwing support from different sectors uh, in the Philippines saying that ABS-CBN is a fabric of democracy, that it should not actually shut down. Then you see a lot of senators openly uh, saying that they will support ABS-CBN as well. Could this be uh, the, path, the positive movement or is there something else that's causing this move up? Please remember that ABS-CBN has not moved up this much over the past few weeks and months. It always has been downward movements in the stock we have not seen push-ups like this so is there any news any positive news triggering the push-ups I'll, I'll create more videos about that but this is all about the charts what's the chart of abs telling us right now were there significant resistances that were broken brought about this move if those if there were resistances broken what are the new supports right now and what are the new resistances and is this enough to cause the stock to start to reverse so let's see what the charts are telling us because you, as you all know as what i've been saying all the time the chart discounts everything everything you need to know is found in the chart and if there's one thing i do know from what we're seeing right now is that there's more buyers willing to buy abs cvn now at, at a much higher price than where we were last week so this is what the charts are telling us all right guys so here's a chart of abs cvn from 2013 to present day and as you all know uh this was its large upward move that started from 2014 all the way February 2014 all the way to this breakage point. As you can see here, uh, you see a break from this upward move somewhere around the, the end of December 2015 to the start of January 2016. This upward move was uh, around 140%. For those who are just watching, I'm giving you a backdrop on how the downtrend actually uh, came to fruition as well. So from that time on, you you saw this break and as you all know, when a stock is finished from an uptrend, a new trend will form. And if I'll try to put a support here and a resistance here, you already see that from this area, the support started to break as well and it reiterated itself as a resistance. Hence, from that time, we, we saw the we saw the stock move and have a massive, 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 massive downtrend. So that started December 2015 all the way here to September 2019. That being said, if I'll overly the 200 day moving average here, uh, you can see it while this is all happening, the stock was relatively bearish. Now, that being said, uh, somewhere around here, uh, August 2019, we saw ABS event start to get out already uh, of this massive downtrend. However, even as it started to get out, it really didn't show any reversal signals yet. It didn't show us any evidence that the stock was starting to reverse and start to move up already. So that being said, it now started to move sideways. From this breakage point here, we saw the PSEI start to move sideways with a resistance at 22.3 and a support level at 16.7 which got broken uh, at the end of the year and hit 14.8 pesos per share. So today, let's fast forward. This is what we do know. I'll try to put the 20 day moving average first. The 20 and the 50 day moving average prior to this large move was pretty much bullish already. If you see it right here, there, the stock price was way above the moving average already denoting 
a more bullish pattern. So you have the short and midterm moving average show telling you that it was already bullish. Then if you add a 200 day moving average, uh, somewhere around Feb 19 it already. Uh, Feb 19, Feb 19 yesterday, this today's large push created a breakout from the 200 day moving average. So that being said, the 20 and the 50 day moving average were bullish prior to the, prior to today's move, but the, but today's large move caused it to break out from the 200 day moving average. Also, if you try to figure it out, you'll see that we all know we all know that there's a support from the 16.7 level. That being said, this support level um, showed itself valid, and as it started to hold at that level, that also denoted to us a large buy signal. Now, that area 16.7 post a target price of 22.3 22.4 that gave us a 34.5 percent gain and that what makes it so interesting today is that the stock went as high as the next resistance the stock went as high as this particular area so here's the thing um i i what's so interesting about that while all of this was happening volume was pretty was very very strong value turnover for abs cbn was around 100 million pesos today which if you look at this entire area is the the breakout today was very very strong and very very far as compared to the previous days as well but if you also see abs cbn you would see that uh, over the past few days volume was relatively oddly stronger than what it was since the start of the year so today was its largest volume largest push up now why am i saying this if abs cbn from a tech perspective uh, hits this resistance and fails to break out, you may expect a possible retracement. And if I'll try to depict where a possible support level is, you could peg this as a support level, you could also peg this as the next support level. However, if ABS-CBN starts to break out, the next possible movement for ABS-CBN could possibly go here, break out from this 22.3 level, it will now attack the next resistance, which is a 24.7 if it breaks out from 24.7 then we have um we now see, we could now possibly say that abs even is out from this sideways market which started july 2018 so if you notice it also abs even has never gone up above the 24.7 level since june july 2018 it's been down it's been down it's been consolidating over or for more than two years already let's see over the next few days couple of resistances you need to remember number one is the resistance at the 22.3 level number two is a 24.7 resistance level so these two levels are the levels that you should watch out for break out from that will will show will confirm that if that there's more buying happening i don't know what the news item is but what i do know is that around 16 pesos per share abs but is pretty much cheap already it's price to book i think at that point is give, you can buy it already at 40 percent discount from our uh, all from from its actual book value as well so it's very 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 cheap it's very very cheap so uh, i've created videos about this that if abs cbn's uh abs cbn would close down and uh, totally won't have any asset won't have any income anymore its assets alone minus all of its liabilities the value of its assets alone would be already much much more than what it was when it was at 16 pesos per share but that being said also i created videos as well saying that there are other revenue sources for abs cbn that they will try to milk those sources should abs cbn should, should channel to close Please remember there are other ways for ABS-CBN to be able to uh, find ways on how they can get revenue. But I do not know what is this specific item on why are people buying massively. Uh, there, there might be some other news that could be disclosed over the next few days. And people have gotten wind of it. People are trying to speculate on what it could be. But what I do know is, you know my style. I don't try to guess. I don't try to speculate. I don't try to forecast what this news will be is it positive or is it negative what i do know is this people are buying it's now above the 20 and the 50 day moving average it's now above the 200 day moving average it bounced back it bounced from the 16.7 uh support level it also broke out from the 18 peso resistance level it also broke past the 19.5 resistance level and it's now trying to attack and break past the 22.4 uh, resistance so we just take it as it is what we do know is the downtrend is over what we do know is it has broken past moving averages what we do know is macd 
It's also telling us that it's already bullish as well. So key things that you need to watch out for, all of this will be valid as long as ABS-CBN stays above 18 pesos per share. So please remember this, there might be some sell-offs, there might be some retracements because we can expect people to also take profits. You can also expect people that made money to also spe sell, especially now that ABS even pretty much is sentiment driven. Uh, but as long as the 18 peso level will hold, if ABS CBN stays above the 18 peso level, then it has a shot to reverse and it has a shot to go higher as well. So comment below what do you think is happening? What do you think is the cause of this? Is there anything exciting news-wise that's causing people to buy ABS CBN at a much higher price? So I hope you guys got a lot from all of this. What do you think? What are your comments on this? Are you buying ABS CBN because of this information? Or are you still staying in the sidelines? Are you still gonna avoid the stock? Are you not gonna come in, uh, come in yet? Are you gonna wait until you see what the news is actually telling us and why the stock is actually moving up? What's your narrative? Do you think this is positive for ABS CBN? Comment if you're learning. Comment also ABS if you would also buy it as well. So I guess that's it. If you want to know more about all of these charts, all of this technical analysis that I'm doing, you can click the link below and I have different sessions, different classroom trainings all around the world from Manila, Singapore, Doha, London, Sydney, Auckland, New Zealand, uh, Tokyo, and Dubai as well. All of them are in the link below or you can join us for online classes. Uh, they're all also in the links below. We have Chingitan and Sean C joining me, part of those online courses. And for those who want to grab a copy of my books, links are down below as well. So I guess that's it for now. I hope this video gave you enough insight also for you to be able to trade ABS-CBN with confidence so that you do not base everything on emotion, that everything is based on what the charts, what the numbers, what history is telling us, and that's how you can win, and that's how you can trade the markets with confidence. That you avoid hype, you avoid speculation, you avoid listening to others. That the only voice that you need to listen to is yourself based on your strategy and based on your technique. So this is Marvin Germo back in GGC. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.